All right, so we're 74 days away from the IDFA universe. Then we started the cutting phase, so now we're gonna get shredded for the show. So we just ended the mass building phase or the strength phase or whatever you wanna call it. Maybe I'll post that up here later as well. But for now, we're gonna start the uh, cutting phase. The cutting phase started this week. I brought my calories down to 2,800 calories, overall calories. And yes, we're gonna do more isolation exercises. And I'm gonna do it today. It's gonna be a day I focus on shoulders and I'm also gonna add in the traps. So we're gonna do shoulders here. I'm gonna use an isolation exercise for lateral raises to pre-fatigue the side delts and then go straight into upright rows. I'm not gonna go crazy with the uh, side raises, but I'm gonna go heavy on the upright rows as heavy as I can handle. So it's more just to get the uh, raises to get the uh, side delts stimulated. All right, so let's, we're gonna get at it right now. Let's go. I just got 12 and a half here. This is just to get the blood flow going and get the uh, side delts working. Let's go. Tough. Ah. Uh. Let's go. We're gonna do 15, there's 14, 15. Just get a pump going in the delts. And then when I do some rows, I'm really gonna feel it in the delts. So we're gonna do the upright, the barbell row with the wide grip. I'm gonna use my wraps so my delts are really working. Should be pretty easy. But since it's... Up. Ah. 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 Let's go. That. Eleven. Oh fuck. A little light, but the delts are burning. That's good. So we'll do another set of this. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, man. Majestic Strength Studio here. This is JP's gym. So we're getting a workout in here. It's always good to change location every once in a while. Don't get too worried about the uh, exact machines and all that kind of stuff. Because I'm going to introduce a new concept later in the videos that I use to make sure that I don't lose my mind when I go to go to a gym and the equipment I want to use isn't available. Because you know that stresses out everybody. But I've got a solution. But I'll disclose that later. All right, so we're gonna hit superset number two. This is side lateral raises with the 12 and a half. So we're gonna do barbell upright roll with 85. Okay, so superset number two. But Go to 15. That's good. Okay, so we have 15 of those. Like I said, we're not going to failure on that, but we're going to like a pump. We're getting a burn and a pump. This one, we're eventually gonna start to get to the proper weight where we hit failure. But right now, I'm just sort of playing around with the weight. It's first workout in this new program. Playing around with the weight to feel what's a good rep range. I mean, sorry, what's a good weight for the rep range that I wanna get. Okay, you gotta strap in like always. Okay, we got 85 here. So, 
Let's go. <laughs> Again, it's, it's a heavy barbell rose, so we're just going to lower chest. Not. 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 Good. Okay, that's two sets. So we're hitting set number three, super set. I'm gonna go to 105 and we'll keep the 12 and a half for the laterals. All right, let's go. Okay, so make sure you drink your water. Don't mind this guy. There you go. Okay, this is number three, the supersets. Like I said, use 12 and a half for the laterals, then we're gonna use 105 for the upright row. Let's go. With these, just I almost feel like I'm pushing out towards the walls at my sides. I don't really have a mirror, but I'm lifting my upper arms to parallel. Like right now, my delts are feeling pumped. Eleven. Uh, Thirteen. Let's go. Okay, that felt good. Like I said, I like using wrist, uh, sorry, lifting straps. I keep wanting to call them wrist wraps. Lifting straps. So I like to take my grip out, out of the play and just treat my hands like hooks. With the upright row, we want to lead with the elbows and bring the bar up to both chests because that's both comfortable feel and your upper arm parallel to the ground. Lead with the elbows, upper arm, all side delts. Let's rock and roll. So it's 105 here. Let's go. Let's go. Two more. Dot. Dot. That's nice. We just seven. Okay, so this gives us a gauge. So next time we come around to this workout, I know what I did. The reps, right? So we have a target to either increase the weight or add more weight. And you know what I'm saying? Increase the amount of reps or increase the weight. Okay, so now we're gonna go onto the rear delts and we're gonna do bent over laterals with the thumbs facing each other. So it's gonna come out like this. Thumbs facing each other, it's gonna come out like that. I'm just going to go light with the 12 and a half, see how it feels, because I haven't done these. Let's do it way over here so we can get it. Feels good. I'm doing nice, slow, and controlled. It's only 12 and a half pounds, but it feels really good. 12. Let's just do high reps here. 15. Woo! That just felt good. 20. Let's do keep I'm gonna do three sets of that weight. It's all about feel. We're gonna get shredded. We're getting shredded. 
All right, set number two. Okay, let's go. We're going light on these, but it feels really good. Thumbs facing each other. Then I'm leading out. And there we go, one. Folks on the rear delts, two. Nice controlled form. Last phase, I wasn't as controlled with the forms. I was kind of trying to get some power and strength happening. But now we're totally wanting to just feel the muscle, get a pump. Ah. Fuck, this is this is burn more than I thought it was. 17. Ah, and then as you as you come up, Okay, that's rear dells for sure. <laughs> Just like anything when you're working out, you gotta really get your mind muscle um, connection, okay? So you really wanna focus on trying to feel the muscle you're trying to work. If you're new to this, it might not come instantly, but it will come eventually, right? So you just gotta keep focusing on the muscle group you're working. That's half the battle, all right. Okay, set number three. The first two sets, we did 20 reps. So let's see on number three if we can do 20 reps again. I'm gonna tell you right now, I was feeling those in my rear delts more than normal. Because sometimes lightening the weight, taking your ego out of a lift and just focusing on the form and the feel is what it's all about, right? It's all about form and feel here. So the trick on this one is just, uh, this is just part of the warm up that you're doing now. Um, what you're feeling is just going to fall. Um, so that's it. Um, basically this is just going to be the left side of the board. Right, so it's 950 meters. Ah! Uh. That! 13. Okay, my rear delts are fucking pumped. <laughs> Holy shit. 17. Up. Not. Woo. Okay, no lie. That's, that's harder than you think it is, okay? I challenge you guys, get a lightweight and do really high reps with good form for the rear delts. Okay, we don't need heavy weights. You don't need to be thrown around. We're not doing rows here. This is rear delts. All right. All right, so now we're gonna hit some barbell shrugs. Like I've been doing that with my workout before, the four weeks or five weeks of the uh, strength phase. But we're gonna keep, keep doing the barbell shrugs. I really like the effect it's having on my traps. And we wanna to try to hang on to as much traps as we can while we contest diet here, while we get shredded. Okay, so we're gonna do barbell shrugs. I'm just gonna start with 135. I, I have no higher reps. Let's go. Okay, it's pretty light. I'll do 15. Up. Up. Okay, 15. It was kind of easy, so obviously when we do our, we track our workouts the next round, we'll go heavier. So I'm gonna jump up, always made 175 here next set. All right, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do 175 here. We did 135 for 15, like, easily. So we're gonna 175 on the barbell shrugs here. I'm not sure what it's gonna feel like. Let's go. Up. Up. 
Oh yeah, we hit 10. Okay, so now we're gonna hit 195 in the barbell shrugs here. See what we can get. Should be a piece of cake. Whoops. Okay, let's go. Up. Must. Okay, so we're gonna do a, now we're gonna do a pressing movement over our head. Because we're really hitting shoulders hard today. So I'm doing a whole day dedicated just to shoulders. So we're gonna do overhead barbell press, standing overhead barbell press. I have no idea what weight to use here, so we're just gonna do 45 for the first set. It's probably gonna be light, but you never know. <laughs> Up. Yeah. Can we go heavier? <laughs> Yeah, it felt good. Not really used to overhead presses, so it's something different. All right, so we'll go with this 65 next set. And so for me, that becomes my main motivation. Why do I, you know, make sure that I stay on top of the right so when I go, I get all something like that. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not as a place to be, but it's not as a place to be. And our perception is that we do it. And so, you know what you need? It's a high-powered model. It's a very powerful 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 model. It's all about feel. Up. That's good. All right, set number three. We threw 85 pounds on the bar. We got a future transformation challenge competitor in the background. Let's go. Oh, press it. Oh. Delts are pretty fried, I love it. Okay, that includes the delts, rear delts, traps, workout. I believe we're 74 days out from the IDFA universe. So yeah, so it was a good workout at Majestic Strength Studio here. JP's gym. Like I said, we're 74 days away from the IDFA universe. And it's the, the shredded phase started this week. 
Currently I'm eating 2,800 calories per day. Just uh, redesigned my program here to focus more on isolations, pumps, and feel. And yeah, we're gonna get shredded. Come December 16th, this guy's gonna be shredded like a motherfucker. So I'll see you there, December 16th, IDFA Universe. Stay tuned with my updates, follow my workouts. And if you're getting ready for the show, let's go.